Oh god. I got two lots of music playing. <laughs> Good evening, Sturmon. How you doing, bud? Hello, everyone. Everyone. Uh, you seem to have no idea how many of you there are. Doesn't seem to be showing up on my screen. But hello. How are we all today? I'm good. I'm good. A bit sleepy. Busy weekend. You know. Tired and stuff. But I'm good. I'm good. Ready to rock on. Build on. Chill and build. Something like that anyway. Right. Yes. Oh. Oh. I shouldn't be here. No. It's a cheeky little preview of something that's, uh, that you're not supposed to see. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Um, where did I leave the CV? I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. It's one of my creative... One of my creative games. Just leave stuff lying everywhere. Here she is! Right. Uh, let's turn off the Imperion music. We've got two lots of music playing. It's not good. This is our baby. We haven't even started the bottom yet. I gotta try and remember what we did last week. I think we spent most of last week layering the armor up and uh, fussing over the back end. I'm not sure. I, I'm still not convinced I even like the back end. <laughs> I might tear that whole thing apart and do it again. Because I don't know. I think I could do it better. I don't think it's very good. I don't think it's in style of the rest of the, the back end of the ship, really. So the other thing I was going to do was was um, put these thrusters further back as well. Uh, let's sort out. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Let's sort out the stuff that I got in my inventory. Uh, while I try and sort of get some kind of stream mojo going. <laughs> Have to bear with me. Just had a big dinner. I'm all full. I'm tired now. It's all good. Right. Thrusters. Yeah. Some fuel tanks. We're going to need plenty of those. Um, we're going to start, hopefully, today. Um, hey, Static. Welcome along, bud. Thanks for joining. Thanks for modding, as always. Hopefully, we'll be able to do the inside today. A little bit, at least. I mean, we're going to... There's not going to be a massive amount of room left in here once we've layered up the um, armor. We don't need a huge amount of armor on these side walls, though, because there's several layers of it right there. Um, but from the front, I'd say probably... Well, from this connector here, I would say, is probably the best time to start reducing the armor so all, everything up front here should be pretty thick everything back here can be pretty light up to about to about here ish i think i guess but anyway first thing i wanted to do was just um put these these thrusters back a little ways let me know guys if the volumes and stuff are all good everything you can hear everything okay um i don't know I've changed some stuff on the stream. Uh, I put the chat box overlay there. I don't know if that's good or bad. You know, this weird stream boss thing going on. I might just turn that off because I don't even know what that does. May that go away. There you go. Yeah, chat box. Is the chat box intrusive or is it okay? Let me know. Because um, I sort of export them. Music's a bit low. That's cool. I sort of export them to YouTube. I figure it would be nice for people watching on YouTube if they could actually see what was going on in the chat. Well, let me know. If it's a bit intrusive, I'll, I'll, I can make it smaller and stuff. I can do that. I can just like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Do that. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Move my face around a bit as well. <laughs> anyway, uh, symmetry. Right there, please. My friend, yeah. All right, that's the wrong block. 
God damn it, it's a good start. First block removed. Wrong one. Right. Did that get rid of these ones over here? No! Alright, I'm just going to move them back. YouTube might not be able to read the chat like that. I don't know. I don't know. They should be able to because that's part of the stream. So... They might have to make the window bigger, I guess. But that's up for them to do, isn't it? <clears throat> Alright, uh, I'm going to put these... Um, I don't know what's going on with my voice. Hello. <clears throat> Put these um, thrusters back a bit, so there's a little bit more armor before they start getting blown up. <clears throat> yeah. All right, there we go. I think that'll do. Yeah, I'll be alright. Let's put some thrusters in here. I guess because they're in there now, I don't really need to put the um, the angled ones in there. I can just put the normal square block ones. There we go. Are they all the right level? Yeah, there we go. Right, so... I can do with that. Oh, you can barely read it. It's on full screen. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Well, let's change that. I mean, was it was it okay when it was slightly bigger? Then was it? Also, I haven't figured out how to reduce the delay because that obscures. Make that bigger like that. I wish it was transparent. Right, okay. Um, let's see if I can figure it out. I can change the width and height. Sort of trying to change some settings on the fly. <laughs> Bear with. Uh, theme. Clean. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, sorry, I'm just going through the, the settings for it here. It's chilling, isn't it? Exactly, my friend. Font size. Here we go. I can increase that to. Let's do it to 20. Text colors. White. I can do the background extra. There we go. I don't know. Show moderator, show subscribers. Turbo badges. Apparently, you can have tur turbo badges. Save settings. Right. Does that go straight through? Oh, it seems to have wiped out the chat box. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Operator Hoop? I don't know if that's any better. Can you read that a little bit better? I still think that chat box is completely intrusive. But, let's see how we go on with it. It's an age old problem again. doing there it is rip old chat yeah <laughs> it completely wiped out the chat <laughs> never mind it does not matter okay so we've, so we've set the thrusters back a bit which means that we can basically put loads of these in except I want to put them the right way up That's still not the right way out. How did I do this? There we go. A 
Loads and loads of vents. They actually act as lag shot armor as well, those ones, so they're pretty good. Oh, I didn't know. Didn't know I could do that. There we go. That makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? All right, there we go. Okay. So now the rear thrusters have a tad more armor, just a tad, than what they had before. So that's good. I'm wondering whether to add a little flare here, but we can do that another time. Let's try and get the inside of this sorted. Um, I feel like I spent most of the last stream sorting this back end out, so I'm not going to revisit it today. I am going to change it though because I don't like it. So I'm going to just rip that whole lot out um, and do it again. But we're not going to do that today. We'll do that another time. Today, I want to try and get the bottom sealed off and start on the inside. There you go. Let's just think about this for a second. Um, okay, so we need... So I might do a sort of a mirror of what's above to some extent. I hate working upside down, it's really weird. <laughs> I don't know why. Just is. this for a second. I don't want to make it exactly the same as um, the top. I want it to have its own sort of flair in a way. Uh, Anybody had any thoughts about the name for this thing yet? Somebody's got to have some suggestions. <laughs> Evening. Fluff77, welcome along, bud. Welcome along. Thanks for coming. Come on, guys. Static's Trident of Doom. You can do better than that. Come on, Static. You're way better than that. This is an off day for everyone. It's not just an off day for me. <laughs> Okay. 
let's do right do i want to angle that off as a nice sort of sloped side i guess like a bit like it is above really as it should do you can do a similar sort of thing with the uh the venting here kinda 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 wrong button there we go Chrysler Pete. <laughs> Alright, if you're not gonna try. <laughs> Is that even the right block shape? Thanks, Mackleberry. Happy Sunday to you too, sir. Yeah, try and get a good chunk of the work done today. Try being the operative word. I'm just trying something a second. Yeah, that is the one, isn't it? All right. Copyright strike. <laughs> gills, gills, and more gills. Can we copyright strike Chrysler? I definitely came up with it first. Gills, gills, gills. I love a gill. Those look good, though. Can't continue it along there, though. Let's kind of uh, take it back to the normal triangles here. There we go. Other way round, please. Thank you. See space cruiser Armageddon. <laughs> no, I don't want to copy Chrysler. Have you seen the PT cruiser? That thing is ugly. Call it the mob car over here in the UK. It looks like a car that you'd go out killing people in, dragging bodies around with, you know. I have a sticky shift key at the moment. Let's drag that back all the way back here. Right. It probably would be a cruiser style ship by the time we finish with it. it would be cruiser s s sort of size of the cruiser. got some angles going on on the bottom here it's looking good <clears throat> the liberator <laughs> sorry static I didn't mean to completely and utterly ruin your joke it's one of those days today they're just not with it I'm just I'm struggling a bit I must admit but it's fine we will, we will persevere can't even speak <laughs> it's not good 
Uh, yeah, we will persevere. I might just leave that flat. I might just leave it flat. Sometimes you just can't be afraid of a flat surface. They're not the they're not the worst thing in the world to have. It's okay. What do you guys think about something something a bit crazy? What do you think about that? I don't know about that. <laughs> The problem with these, these curved blocks is there's just no way to really finish them. Right. Like, there's no transition. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Maybe. There's a lot of triangles on this ship, so putting in a sort of half circle, quarter circle rather, is ballsy. More ribs. Yeah. Can't really put more ribs on the bottom though. Well, unless I expand it down even further, but I wasn't going to. So I want the kind of turrets to be able to shoot across as well to some extent. <clears throat> I'll leave it like that for now. Let's see if it grows on us. Oh, yes. Uh, that one. That way, no, too far. There, that way. There we go. Right. Perfect. All right. I always, always struggle with the bottoms of ships. They're always like the hardest to do. Um, A really unconventional idea right here. Bear with me on this because this might be a bit weird. Oh. Wish I could build like this. Just practice, dude. Practice, practice, practice. Build, build, and build some more. Ah, that's annoying, isn't it? Uh, I want that down half, but you can't get it that way. Rotate it. It won't. It won't go. Damn. It's kind of like some kind of um, underguard. I don't know just thought why not I need to keep this sort of gap here because this will be where the uh, the SV can get in in fact we can probably square this off now now we know roughly how big it needs to be oh god sometimes that symmetry graphic just gets so in the way it's difficult to see what you're doing right And sometimes I like to give this a bit of shape, like in line with the uh, the car, the uh, hangar door here, and just just to make sure make it not a cube, you know, cube room. It's not a cube room. It's got a little bit of angle on the walls, <laughs> only a little bit. And we can do this sort of similar thing here. We can use this block. Give it a little bit of there. Maybe a little bit. Uh, then we could possibly break up this wall. Maybe we could add something kind of feature in there. Don't know what. No idea what. <laughs> There's not really a massive amount of room to play with there. I don't, know, I don't really know what we could do with it. I think what we could do, um, yeah, when well, we've got no generators in here at the moment, but um, well, could put 
Putting some sentries in the wall facing the hangar door for defence. Yeah, that's a good idea. Put a couple of sentry holes there. Yeah, I'll probably put some sentries in the back of the, the hangar as well, actually. Thinking about that. It's a good idea. Let's say that is our... That is our hangar bay. It's not very big. It's big enough to get a small SV in there. That's it, basically. I'll put some doors in later, but if I grab the nightshade, you'll see what I mean. Literally big enough for a nightshade. <laughs> but it will also be the only entrance into the ship, so it would make sense if we had, like you suggest, the sentry, sentry gun uh, positions there. There goes a stack. So that'll be our way out of the hangar, and then we'll have some elevator blocks going up to the upper decks. That's where everything will be. Maybe, yeah, because this will be this will be mostly armor up until this point here. This crossbeam is our marker. After that crossbeam, there doesn't really need to be much side armor. Uh, we need to put some on the top and bottom. Right, that's only one layer at the moment. Do with like five layers there, and on the bottom. Same. So that's so the front here. We've got our embedded minigun turrets. So that's what everything's going to try and shoot at. Providing we keep the ship face the enemy. And it's a one-on-one -on -one ship. If you if you get outnumbered, well, if you're outnumbered most ships are toast anyway. Uh, but you try and keep the, f the enemy to the front of the ship and they'll try and shoot these miniguns that are embedded in all this armor. Meanwhile, all the guns on the sides are free to open up on them with impunity. So, we're still going to need some more armor from the front here just in case. Because eventually, they would get through that armor. In theory, they then should start shooting the turrets on the sides. But just to be safe, let's put another couple of layers here. I'm going to put a normal layer in first. And then a lag shot layer. Actually, let's just square this off so it's level. So I use pyramids. I don't know if there's any benefit in using the triangles over the pyramids. I try and use a sort of combination of the two, but there we go. There's a block there, which could undo the entire lag shot <laughs> protection. You get a shot lagged into the armor. Bear in mind it would have to lag through the lag through the outside, lag through that first layer, lag through that layer, and then lag through that and then lag through that. I think it should be alright. We'll put one more layer just for the um, explosive radius. There we go. So we should be good. Just check the sides. Yeah, so if you get a ship shooting at this angle. Yeah, there's, there's like one block of armor there, isn't there? And that angle right there. So let's, let's add another layer. And let's actually... Um, Let's do a lag shot but facing the wall. Alternate it. Something like that. There we go. And then one final. 
one final layer that should do it that should do it we get a shot coming in from this angle yeah that should be all right okay so we should be able to start the inside of the ship from that point um and what we'll do is we'll stuff the front of the ship with stuff that doesn't matter cargo boxes food uh o2 tanks that sort of stuff that doesn't really matter if they they go pop um and then fuel tanks and stuff we're going to load up sort of back here not at the very back sort of around this area just above the hangar bay i'd say but this is this is not an easy position as well because we need, we need to layer up the top so let's let's do that as well because we need to figure out how much how much space we really have left in here so it's got a lag shot layer there i'm only gonna have one on the top there but we want five layers at least Sure, none of the blocks are escaping. So what's that? One, two, three. Okay. We're really not going to have a lot of room in here when this is done. <laughs> it's really going to be quite tight. Right. There goes a the stack. Final layer. Okay, like I said, um, we shouldn't need too much side armor around here because we've got these nacelles. So I'm going to leave the side armor pretty much as is. Um, so that's top, now bottom. We'll do the same on the bottom, really. Let's do a lag shot layer. I'm going to do two lag shot layers. You have got this artillery gun here as well. So if you imagine shots coming in here, take this artillery gun out and then just carry on. So now they're in like a little lag shot maze. But I mean, they're not going to go through to anything important, even if they just get through all of that. On that line, of course, if they're a bit higher than that, then they might hit the SV. So we want to make sure you could always put hardened steel on the inside buys you a little more time with less weight true true I'll give it that no oh, that was too many I'm gonna do let's flip these triangles on their ends they look like whole blocks, but they're actually lag shot armor there. Um, and then, like that. I mean, the weight should be okay. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. That should power it up. As soon as we get a generator and some fuel tanks in here, we'll give it a little fly around and see how she handles. Um, it should be okay with the thrusters I've got, the number I've got. Should be able to maneuver pretty well. We shall see. Oh, I need to do the back here as well. The back, I'm not going to do so much because if you let stuff get behind you, you're kind of screwed anyway. Plus, let's go. I'm going to have a. I mean, like I said, I'm going to redo this whole back end, but I'm going to put a lot of fluff on the outside there to armor it up. So let's just add add a layer there and then square it off. Like that, right? So we've got our cube room. Let's get rid of all this. Nope. Right. So that is our interior, basically. We've got. Five layers up. You've got between three and five layers down, depending on where you are. Hangar bay. So if a hangar bay is a vulnerable spot, 
on the belly. If you get below it and you can shoot through there, then you could do a lot of damage. Um, I'll move the core to somewhere sensible. We are running out of room in here though rather quickly. Okay, I'm trying to think about this for a sec. These little corridors down the side. I might keep those. Let's fill them with lag shot downs. Like that. That's the wrong place. Like that. So this will be our corridor from front to back. Seems to make sense. We'll have one over above as well. Okay. All that space in the rear, that's just decoration. You could add more thrusters if you need them. Yeah, e exactly. Yeah. Um, in fact, I, I do actually intend to just bring this back a little further to about here and add some layered thrustering in there. Because, I mean, we've got some medium thrusters in there already. Like, just decorative ones. But there's no reason why we couldn't put a lot of medium thrusters in there as well. Obviously, thrusters attract attention, so we have to be careful if we do. Um, trying to think of where to lay, uh, put stuff. Things like warp cores, generators. We've got generators out here because they're a targetable component. Random blocks. So let's, let's grab a warp core and some stuff. I have to figure out where I'm going to put the bridge as well. There it is. Okay. The wall core right there. Rage quit and deleted my newest save in Imperium after being shot out of the sky by three bases that just glitched in front of me. I had two cargo boxes filled with loot from raiding over the bases. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That would uh, that piss me off as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any shame in that. <laughs> I mean, it's, if, uh, if, for me, if glitches like that get me, then um, I'm... I'm perfectly okay just adminning stuff back and telling the game to piss off, basically. <laughs> Try and undo me with some kind of weird glitchy bullshit. Hell no! That's just weird. I don't know. I'm trying to think of decorative stuff to put around a warp core. Um, if the problem is the warp core is not full height of the... Uh, the block. So what I could do actually is rotate it like that because it's different. Who would expect an upside down warp tank? Why not? There we go. <laughs> Another funky warp drive. Salamance. Uh, Fluff, yeah, I was excited. Uh, I exited the game, started playing Diablo 3. <laughs> uh, awesome. <laughs> Alright, it's fair enough. Fair enough, sir. Just trying to think now. Oh, right, we need fuel tanks. Fuel tanks. Let's try and focus on one thing at a time. I'm thinking about the whole thing at once and it's kind of throwing me off a bit. Now, Fuel tanks need to be Chief Rocky approved, uh, and what that means, and you might hear you might hear me and Static and even Loose going on about Chief Rocky approved fuel tanks. Uh, Chief Rocky is another YouTuber. You might you might know him. You might have heard of him. Plays on the Afflicted server. 
and he has a fuel tank fetish. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can describe it as. Uh, yeah, he, he demands many, many fuel tanks and their redundant, redundancies, which is good. Because you do want redundancies in your fuel tanks. So, I'm going to try and spread these out a bit to a point where they don't just blow each other up, basically. Embedded in the wall. We need RCSs as well. So, I mean, I keep thinking of more and more stuff to add to this. Let's grab a bunch of those so I'm reminded of them. Yeah, so Chief Rocky approved fuel. We need a lot of fuel. Yeah, spread them out. I think, now correct me if I'm wrong here, guys. I think they only need to be one block separated, right? I've obviously got these two together, but I think that'll be fine. I think they only need to be one block separated. <laughs> 17,000 T3 fuel tanks. That's that's our target. I was thinking about putting like a little walkway path over here and then across across here. I think that would look quite cool. This be like a reactor pit. Reactor pit. Do crazy things with it, like put spikes at the bottom. Only seventeen thousand. Yes. Let's put a giant pipe at the bottom here, like that. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to do something that's inspired by Lucy and Chief I suppose actually thinking about it and the Klingon Empire we're going to have a reactor pit and it's going to be full of spikes because why not <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh, bury this a bit more. There we go. Eh, I want to be able to see the pipes. Let's let's remove that block and that block. Perfect. Now, Stag's progenitor, Chief Rocky approved. So basically, I'm just going to run these all the way along here. And that hopefully is enough fuel tanks. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think that's enough fuel tanks? I think it's enough fuel tanks. Right through the heart of the ship. And that's how much armor there is between the fuel tanks and clear open space. And I suppose the shortest route through is probably this angle. Down like that through the vents maybe? Through the through the gills. Yeah, even that. It's quite deep. Quite deep. 
Yeah, I was thinking about making the interior a maze, but I, I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> I just I just can't. In fact, I want to do that next. I want to show you. Um, don't know what happened there. Walkway blocks. Walkway blocks are so much fun. Thinking about putting the entire thing on walkway blocks up here, apart from the core. I'll I'll deal with the core in a bit. And you have walkway blocks around the walk core. Like that. And then we just have a lot of fun with railings. Basically. <laughs> if you have to ask. <laughs> it's a good point. I can't argue with that logic. It was more as it was more of a question from politeness than um, than one I actually needed an answer from. You know. I want to add some deco in here for these fuel tanks, so I might just um, put some piping stuff. It doesn't quite make sense because of the wrong way around, but I could do it up here actually. Uh, love a bit of piping. I have a bit of piping now and again. Can't do it down here because these are up the wrong way, but. Can do. I probably remove half of this later on because it will annoy the crap out of me, but we'll see. So what we need is we need our CSs in somewhere as well. I didn't really leave any room for these, so I'll put them up, up front-ish area. We need to spread them out though, don't we? The RCSs work. Um, Static, you tested the RCSs, didn't you? Was it, it was more effective if they were kind of scattered all over the shop, weren't they? I think, I seem to remember you and Lucy doing a test of RCSs once upon a time. That corner there is quite vulnerable, actually. Seal that off. Thanks, Operator Who. That's legendary work, that is. They have to be spread out. I thought so. So if I put some at the front... Oh, easy, Tiger. So rather than sticking all your um, RCSs in one big clump, in the middle of the ship, I do actually need to be spread out a bit. So I'll try and do that as much as I can. <laughs> now we filled this whole place with the spikes. There we go. I think that is going to be. Let me try it. I don't want it to be overly twitchy, but these are T2 RCSs, and this isn't a massive ship, so I think that will do more than enough. I know I said I was going to make that a corridor, but in all honesty, I think just we'll do everything up here. Um, yeah. Corridor. Uh, front rear placement improves roll, top and bottom placement improves yaw, right and left placement improves pitch. So I probably want some out in the end, the nacelles as well then, right? That would make sense. Um, Is 
makes it quite difficult to Let's stick with that. Let's see how it behaves. Um, I've got generators and fuel tanks now. So if I place myself a cockpit, we can take it for a spin. And see how she handles. Cockpit. There it is. Yeah. 100%. Let's turn off symmetry mode where we're flying, shall we? <laughs> um, there's, there is a not docked ship. Damn you, Nightshade! Did actually make the noise in relation to the call, right? Okay. Thanks, Dalek. Appreciate it. Let's see, I mean, left and right, it seems okay. I'll definitely be able to keep most things in front of me. I suppose it, it, it couldn't hurt from a few more, in fairness. Roll. Not bad. The speed, I think, uh, is its weakness there. Once it's up to speed, it's not too bad, but keeping that 91 meters per second on maneuvers. So a full forward thrust. It's not amazingly quick. But it turns well. It rolls nice. And it stops. Hmm. Well, she does take some time to get moving, yeah. But, like I said, I was planning to take this back out and we could fill it with a lot more thrusters and make its forward speed a lot nicer. The other option is I take some... Uh, yeah, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I didn't realise this huge gap was here. We can put some more RCSs in, because it can definitely... doesn't need them, need them, but adding more in is not going to take anything away. And I haven't put symmetry mode back on. <laughs> yeah, damn it. Uh, where was that giant gap? Is there even one over here? Was that like an artifact? Oh, there's a giant gap here, so we can use this. There are blocks missing everywhere. Yeah. I could take some of these blues out and put the reds in. I know the blues, uh, you get more trust for your money. The reds do give a big old kick, though. Okay, I tell you what we'll do next. Next stream, what we'll do is we'll we'll take the back off and we'll redo this. But um, let's see if we can put some more stuff on the inside and actually get the interior shape kind of in place. Um, what else I want to do is something on the top of these nacelles and on the bottom of them as well. I well, see if we can put some like decorative-looking cannon turrets on there, like like uh, gun barrels on there or something. Make it look like a, a battleship or something. Yeah, not even been shot, already missing a block. God damn it! This ship is cursed. <laughs> or even leave space dock. It's cursed. Anyway. Yeah, I want to put something on the top and centre here that looks sort of vaguely like a, a bridge of some sort, but it, it's a complete fake bridge. Well, it'll be a working bridge, but you will actually in battle your flight from down here. Um, what else do I wanted in here, though? Uh, 
with some constructors. Of the advanced variety. Not very many. I think four will do. So there's a bit of production capacity in here. There's pipes. Pipes are in the way. Yeah, damn it. Why did I need piping? <laughs> well, maybe I'll put them down here then. Not happy about that at all. Put another layer in. Right. So here's our constructor room. We'll put some storage and O2 tanks at the front here as well. And then up above we can put the smaller things like food processors, armor lockers, O2 stations, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I realize that, Sturman. The Nova Cannon, yeah, that's a good idea. I was thinking like a double barreled turret type structure with these huge like barrel like things on the top. Purely decorative, but look badass, right? I was um I forgot what I was doing. That was it. That was it. I was gonna get chuck some cargo boxes in here. I should probably turn uh, symmetry mode back on. Is that center block? No, it's not. There we go. I'm trying to think now. How oh, will gravity generator? Can't forget that. We'll always forget that. I want to put some heavy windows in. I haven't used these really. Used them in uh, Kuaseka Raceway was the last time I used them. about this. Uh, let's grab O2 station. I only need one of them. I'm putting another one up, up the top actually. You got one every, uh, each way. Um, One back here for now. I'm trying to think where the, um, the where I should put the bridge. Um, I'm thinking like right here. I know I've got this guy right there, but he's kind of in the the throws of it there. I'll just square this off. Room that off. Um, yeah, I think I am actually going to use the hardened steel for the interior here, like Static suggests. 
So the more I just add this sort of stuff to it, the more weight I'm adding. It's going to be too bad at this point, but... Can't hurt. Add... I want my bridge to be there. Have that guy in. Should I have a captain's chair? How do you reorganize cargo boxes and constructor inventories? No hotkeys, just patience and moving stuff around. <laughs> yeah, moving stuff around. And have that like classic kind of upper bridge, lower bridge kind of arrangement thing. Put so that I'm one final layer of uh, lag shot armor in here, and then normal. All right, and this will be our view screen. So we can put it in like LCD screens. Might need three. On screen. <laughs> I have, I've never used the um, alien blocks. I mean, I mean, I know of them, obviously, but um, they're so difficult to get hold of in any kind of mass quantity. I've just never bothered with them. Gravity generators really annoy me because they're just they're, they're two by two. They don't go anywhere. <laughs> they don't go anywhere symmetrical. And I really wish you could put them upside down, but... <laughs> I obviously understand why you can't. Damn you, Nightshade. It's going to be a perfect spot for a gravity generator. <laughs> you really run out of room quite quickly in these places. It needs to be centered to the ship, so it's going to have to be up here, I think, basically. And I'm going to have to just break something to put it in. Like, like that. And then what we can do is we can put offline protection there. Offline. Where are you? There you are. No, it's not too bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. But what it won't be able to do is have a railing either side. <laughs> I can't have a double railing. Yeah. Yeah. Static. Static got it. Can I have. Okay. Just to share, I have one either side. There you go. Alright. <laughs> Best we could do. Best we could do. Um. What am I doing right now? What am I doing? Kind of. Not really. Yeah, why not? That'll do. It's like a movie theater. <laughs> Giant LCD screen at the front. I can put loads of deco blocks and passenger seats and stuff in here. And this will look quite cool, although I have just cut off these stairs. So they're now completely pointless. Good job. That 
Still completely pointless. Sponge, come on. There we go. And that's the outside. Oh, God. I think the armor is around here, around the sides. I'll bolster that up maybe a little bit. What is this? Track. What is going on here? This is crazy. Drummy Dubby steps four, huh? Not anymore. Bye bye. Man, I downloaded some crap. Oh god, I'm using um it's all your fault, stag. God. Yeah, that's cool. So, what we can do here is we can put things like um, <clears throat> could probably get a little farm going on there, but I don't even think it's net. It's a PvP ship. You're not going to be growing props on here. It's just a waste of time. What we do need that I haven't put in yet: ammo boxes. They're kind of vital, only slightly. We need um, O2 tanks. We haven't put any of those in yet. Food processor, armor locker. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, I need a med chamber as well. Let's start with armor. Armor locker. Med chamber. Right, okay. Uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Let me know. What am I going to do with the O2 tanks? I was going to put them at the front here, but kind of bridgeified this area now. It's proper bridgeified. I can line, line them along here actually. That look pretty cool. I'm not worried about O2 tanks chain reacting. Some proper armor in there, may as well. Okay. So we put something there. Oh yeah, yeah. We put we can put a med chamber there, can't we? Put a med chamber there. There we go. That's cool. Ammo boxes. Let's put these up here. Um, two of them can go here. Three of them can go there, sorry. Um, oh. <laughs> sorry, not much room left. I switched to hardened steel because of your suggestion, Static, and then I had to switch back to combat steel because I just punched a hole through the the wall. So I'm blaming you for suggesting to switch to hardened steel. Deal with it. Uh, 
All right, it's not going to be pretty, but... It's robust. Robust ammo boxing. You wouldn't even notice they're there. <laughs> Walking around. It's nice, it's nice. I look down the reactor pit. Oh god. Looks dangerous. Should probably um add some O2 vents in here. Also, we need to we need to, we do need to consider borders. We need to protect against borders. You know what I'm saying? Static knows what I'm saying. Should I put shutter doors and some signal logic on them? I'm thinking we put some shutter doors and signal logic on them. Also thinking that I run some shutter doors along there and, you know, to seal this off and some signal logic. Some motion sensing signal logic. Let's do it! Shutter doors! I think that's enough ammo boxes. Until they like, actually rebalance ammo and make it sensible. It should be enough ammo boxes. Just thought. Why can't that be a little bit more like that? You know? These things are such a pain in the backside sometimes. Alright, there's one. Alright, chill out. Can you. Right, thank you. That's what I wanted to know. So that's really, that's really awkward. So the really big one. I could. This is what I could be doing with this wall here, right? Here we go. Now I've got. Now, now I've got an idea for that wall. Bingo. Okay. So pain to try and get them to line up sometimes. Now it's not such an obvious entrance. <laughs> Scuttle the ship? Not a chance. You go down with the ship. She'll never give up. You could do ramps from the other side. I don't know what you mean. I don't, know, I don't know what you mean. Ramps from what other side? Sensor blocks, sensor blocks, sensor blocks. 
Where are they? There we are. Yeah, half blocked, of course. Motion, sension. Right. Yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> oh, man. So hot in my room. Whew. All right. Here's your signal logic 101, everyone. Class is in session. All right. You go to your motion sensor. You hit P. You go to your signal logic with your motion sensor selected. You type in your sensor, your, your circuit name, your signal name. It could be like, um, I don't know, hangar door. Hangar. Is it hangar or hangar? I can't remember. Let's go hangar. Hangar. I'm going to put a capital H on that just to accentuate the point. Hit enter, that'll do. There's your signal for your motion sensor. All right. Now, go back to your devices, but the easiest thing to do is just point at each individual shutter door that you want to link to your signal logic. Hit the P menu when you're looking at the device, it will come up in your devices on the device you're looking at and you hit the P on. Got it? Go to signal logic, hit your open close drop down box, select hangar. And you can either select follow, toggle on or off. Now I generally set it to follow and follow means that the signal will um, activate when something turns it turns the signal on and off. So with a motion sensor, it'll activate when something goes into the motion sensing field, and then it will deactivate when it comes out of the motion sensing field. Whereas toggle will switch it on when something enters the motion sensor field, but will not turn it off when it leaves. It will only turn it off next time something comes into the motion sensing field. Okay, and the same applies for like trip lasers, laser sensors, and and switches. With this, with toggle set, you you know you have to switch them twice in order for it to set off whatever you want it to set off. So I generally set it to follow, unless you're doing switches to turn things on and off, and you can have an on switch and off switch. But yeah, follow is the easiest one. Okay, so I'm going to set it to follow. Um, this little tick box here next to it is whether to invert the command or not. So whether the shutter door. You tick that box and it'll it'll invert it whereas it will close it if it's triggered it will then open it if it's triggered if you invert it if that makes sense i don't think i need to invert them at this point so i'm just gonna leave them as is there's only that one and this one over here but i'm also going to tie in these bad boys up here so same again set every single one that you want to trigger on that that circuit open close like that. so I'm definitely within the motion sensing field now so let's configure the motion sensing field or whatever you want to call it all right you get this weird red hue going behind you hit interactive setup you get these weird numbers pop up on the screen all right and you can uh, sort of drift off and see where the motion sensing field is um, so you press the numbers and it expands it in certain directions on the keypad but all right, actually Enlarge left control plus numpad. So left control plus five expands it that way, which I want it to go up to the hangar door, but that's about it. And then I want to expand it down, which should be left control and two. There we go. So that's the field of influence that that motion sensor is set to. Anything going into that field will open these shutter doors, that shutter door, but not hangar doors. Everybody with me so far? <laughs> You just hit escape to come out of that. And then what we should find. I just grazed it there. Let's turn off symmetry mode so we can see what's going on. If I grab the old nightshade here. I'm going to spin around. So we can see everything. Come on. Spin around. There we go. Headlight. A bit bright. As we drive into the motion sensing field, everything opens. Do the one below. I'm not even going to look, but it's open. There it is. Look. And as we go out. They close again. I got that. See? Clever stuff. So we come back. Opens again. Ouch. Ah, oh, nearly made it in without touching anything. It wasn't to be. It was close enough. There we go. Signal logic 101. 
There's no, there's no getting out of this hangar now. <laughs> Dock. Thank you. Right. So in, everything opens. Out, everything closes. Nice! You already put another shutter door in. Oh, right. Was well, this in your response to... Uh, it's obviously a chat delayed thing going on. I still need to figure that out. I haven't figured that out. I don't know what the settings are for it. Um, it's not on slow mode, so I mean it should be pretty quick. Yeah, no idea. No idea. But yeah, you know what? I need to um to figure out the uh the, the the stream delay settings. Anyway, anyway. Not looking too bad, not looking too bad. So obviously we've got a lot of uh, fluff to add, which is basically uh, just sorting that arse out because that just looks horrible. Um, texturing, painting inside. Am I missing anything in here, by the way? I'm, I still haven't placed things like um, food. I could probably do with some more cargo boxes in here as well. We've got O2 stations, we've got a med chamber. We'll have a bridge that looks good. We've got some constructors and cargo at the front here. Some extra space for expanding into if you want to. Uh, missing block. We can use shutter doors as well. I much prefer using shutter doors as actual doors in PvP stuff. Just because you can't you can't shoot them. You can't shoot through them. Lights, very good shout, Mr. Hoot. Thank you very much. Wandering around with my god mode torch, creative mode torch, which is fantastic. Lights everything up, but you're right, in normal life land. Oh, we need some lights. There's the plant grow lights. Where are the normal light blocks? Am I being yeah, there they are. There you go. I didn't I didn't need two thousand of them though. Get rid of one of those stacks. So food. We can put food up here. That's a light block. Got a couple of food processors. Next to the fuel tanks. Yeah. Nice. That'll do. And some cargo boxes in between. Hmm. All right. I'll leave a lot of space in here for you guys to add. You can add your own stuff in here. I mean, like I said earlier, you could probably even fit a garden in here with reorganize this, put all that over there, and fill this with grow plots. Probably. Um, I'm not going to because it's PvP shit and it shouldn't have grow plots in it, in my opinion. Lights. What lights should we choose? I'm gonna do anything special with the lights. Um, I'll just have sort of bog standard ones. Let's have our symmetry mode back on. I'll change these to a like slight. Red hue battle stations kind of readiness. There we go. Red alert. Put the ones back here. I'll put it's normal white though. Or maybe I'll, I'll put it as like a um, light blue. Light blue. It's quite nice, isn't it? Quite tranquil. Ventilators, Mr. Hoot, you are on fire today, sir. Vents. Yeah. I'm gonna need one of them. Where should I put a 
I've so run out of room. <laughs> Let's get rid of the stack or two. Get rid of this steel. Somewhere to put the ventilator. Put it on the ceiling. I could put it in the floor. Uh, what I might do, I might fit it in the floor here and then I might build some kind of contraption around the uh, core and the ventilator here. That's a repair bay! Hey, Vincent. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Uh, where's the ventilator block? Vent, that's a C. Vent, thanks. Yeah, see if we can build something kind of weird and wonderful around these these two. Using these and these and normal blocks, maybe. Is that are these airtight? Uh I can't remember, how do I check? Show airtight blocks. Uh, airtight blocks are green, aren't they? Yeah, so that's not airtight, that's good. Oh wait, is it or is it the other way around? Yeah, airtight blocks are green, yeah. So it's not airtight. It's good. Um let's use hardened steel here. I think of something something interesting. C V turrets barely work on planets uh, the only ones that do are cannon and minigun turrets so the I, I mean you you can see why the developers did it if you could use if you could use the full power of CVs on planets they would be pretty unstoppable they would just break everything um, I mean as it is you can park you can park a CV over a base that's got enough armor to tank the base completely while you sending ground forces to shoot the turrets uh, all the base turrets will be distracted with the, the monstrous amount of HP that the CV has while your, your hover tanks go in and kill everything so I could texture it so it looks funny <laughs> uh, um, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. yeah. CV, CV, drones are no match for a CV. Yeah, cannon, cannon and minigun turrets will make short work of, of any drone. Even the big ones. Didn't like that. Didn't like that. Yeah, what we're going to do is put the core on the ceiling above the core, uh, the vent on the ceiling above the core and put a cylinder block between the two. There we go. That's my interesting bit in the middle. <laughs> That'll do for now. Right, let's get rid of some of this. we still got some lights to place. You're welcome, bud. No worries. Hey, you got any questions at all? Uh, feel free to ask. And guys in the chat, are pretty good, uh, pretty experienced players as well, so um, they could no doubt answer plenty of questions if you've got any. You know, I end up asking them most things. To be honest, I have no idea. Yeah, because people will see that, won't they? <laughs> 
And I've turned symmetry mode back up again, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, shy of actually going around putting the deco and the, the paint on now. I think what we can do is add a few data screens. Yeah. Uh, passenger seats. I got. No, I haven't got an armor locker. Thought I did. You know, you're right. I have got an armor locker in my thing, but I haven't placed it because there's still six at six. That's fine. Armor locker is easy. That can go here. Opposite there. Now repair station. Do we want a repair station on here? Because the repair station is kind of what is that? Right, red constructor. The repair station obviously used to repair armor. This is a PvP combat CV. I don't think there's going to be much demand for it, to be honest. And it does cost a restroom as a cozy, so uh, I'm going to leave it out. I'm going to let you guys decide whether if you want to add it in. There's plenty of spaces where you can add it in. You know, so I'm gonna leave it out. Yeah. Something. I still need a way to get from the downstairs to the upstairs. Nah, I would have put that in, wouldn't I? Wait a minute. God damn it! There's no way to get from the downstairs to the upstairs. <laughs> Did you guys come here to learn anything or teach me? Because I think I think that's the way it's happening at night. Very much. Oh, I am having a bad day today. <laughs> uh, it's a good job you guys are here. I know it'd be screwed otherwise. Well, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just go through here. There we go. There we go. It's fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, okay. Elevator blocks. Thank you, Perk. <laughs> you! There we go. There is now a way to get from the bottom to the top. That could have been... I mean, it was embarrassing anyway. But it could have been more embarrassing than it was. So again, thank you, Pokemon. <laughs> Jesus. All right. How'd you build ships again? I ain't got a clue. All right, there we go. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That works. I got a thing about having like uh, elevator blocks that have that aren't covered up like this one here look at this i'm free i'm free what on earth is this track no carry on up and go out there that's better there we go it works now <laughs> you use it as a ship now
Give this a nice blue hue as well with all the fuel tanks running rampant in here. The good news is as well that Elion changed it. Yeah, indeed. Um, Elion and changed so sentry guns are no longer targetable by uh, turrets. So if you have sentry guns inside your ship, depending from borders and stuff. Uh, enemy turrets will no longer just smash through all the armor to get through to them. So it doesn't does now mean that you, you have to kind of board ships and get through the defenses there. Symmetry <laughs> mode! Bad-looking bridge already, really. I quite like it. There's some more um, consoles and stuff around. Good. Um, I'll put a couple more passenger seats back here as well, just so people have extra passengers if we need to. But again, you guys can add passenger seats in as you need, really. There we go. Right. Is there anything else? What about putting screens up to warp around the front? Figured that might be handy. Uh, <clears throat> to wrap around the front, you mean? Yeah, that's what that is actually what you said, not warp. Um, you mean LCD screens? Yeah, yeah. You said wrap. I misread it. You didn't need to. Yeah, don't, don't correct yourself. I need to correct myself. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we now CD screens or these things? Because I don't think you can put LCD screens. I don't think you can put them on um, anything other than just a flat rectangle angle. So, I mean, I can put them along there, but I kind of prefer the. Uh, the angled armor there to be honest yeah no, I see what you mean it would be nice if you could have LCD screens at that kind of angle or even at just a 45 degree angle rather than just 90 degree 90 degree so okay, I'm gonna leave it as is for now I know it looks a bit 60s but you know have you seen this chair you know <laughs> that'd be fine you can do random things as well just to sort of tart the place up you can just run on these railing blocks along the ceiling and it just makes it look really weird. Just an extra texture. No person to it, no reason to it, just looks like kind of just an extra texture. It's different. Use the blocks, how they're not supposed to be used, sometimes you get quite interesting results. You could put like that. Yeah. Different, isn't it? Take them off. If the light blocks wasn't there, that would work. I'll leave them as is for now. There we go. Right. 
I think, oh, well, other than texturing and painting, I think that's pretty much the inside done. Um, just to give you guys some reassurance, from the bridge, from where you would be sat, which is here, um, they would have to get through. What's that? What's that? What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 26 layers of armor from, from the front. But that's less like directly through this block here, basically. Yeah. Uh, oh, all the one below it actually but yeah 27 then including this one here uh so the other thing i wanted to do as well with these um just going back to the outside now i think that's pretty much the inside sorted we do need to add some more thrusters to the back to speed it up a bit, but uh, the inside looks pretty good. It's quite nice. Um, so these nacelles have these kind of uh, trenches running down the side of them. And between these, there's only like three, four layers before you then start hitting components. So what I was going to do was just basically fill them with sort of fluff and make it look like um, you know uh, Star Destroyers from Star Wars it's difficult to explain but basically they've got the top layer of armor on the main hull and then the bottom layer of armor on the main hull and in between they have this kind of this texture that's almost machinery kind of it, it doesn't move or anything but it's very um three-dimensional textured it's not smooth it's not flat like the main armor it's got all sorts of random sort of blocks strewn not blocks but you know what i mean um strewn around inside just to give it an, a little bit extra sort of texture so that's what i'm going to try and do but i'm going to use combat steel not hardened yeah, it's got 2,000 2, LCD screens. <laughs> um, so this is this is actually a lot more difficult to do than you think it might be because it isn't just a case of just throwing down random blocks. You've got to kind of make it look like it's supposed to be there. Um, so let's see what we can come up with. Just completely on the fly, so it might work, it might not, it might be complete garbage, it might be, it might be the best thing I've ever created, who knows. It won't be the latter. This is purely decorative. It's just, yeah, Borg like, Mr. Hoot. Yeah, you, you're spot on there, sir. Borg like kind of random bits of conduit piping and all sorts of random stuff. Just. You look at it and you go, how did you come up with that? Like, somebody had to draw that and imagine it.
Yeah, this is gonna be, look a bit weird, basically. I suppose. End of the day. Hopefully you're starting to get the sort of picture. The Deadless. Nah. Nah. Battlestar Galactica maybe. A little bit. Because of the nacelles. I, I guess. Not the Deadless though. Nah. The awesome if you did though. It is a good Deadless on the um, the workshop actually. It's not bad at all. Do any mistakes? Well, for the Deadless, oh, I've seen the Deadless. Hang on. Hold on, one second. Daedulus. De 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 How do you spell it again? We've got it on there. De Alus. Daedalus. Daedalus. What, the uh, SGC one? Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, SG1. Daedalus. Well, it's kind of SGA, isn't it? Daedalus. I can see what you're saying. I can see what you're saying. A little bit. Oh god, where where are we going? But the thing with it, Deadless is awesome though. I hated the bloody uh, whatever that one was called. Can't remember now. That's a better image. Right, well, you see what you're seeing because he's got he's got the sort of uh, nacelles on the side, which are the hangar bays for all the um, X302s, which is. Kind of like how I've got my um, nacelles there for the guns rather than that, but yeah. Uh, let's see what he's saying. Look at that. Seamless transition from game to display capture. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. <laughs> but you get the dead list and you look at that. I mean, I'd need to build a whole thing on the top to sort of connect them together. Prometheus is the first one, you're right, uh, yeah, that was, Prometheus sucked, hated that. When they first revealed the Prometheus, I was like, what is that? <laughs> Whoever drew that? <laughs> it's just like, ridiculous. Anyway. Get some random shapes. And then you got to remember as well, I've got to texture all this at some point, so the more fluff that I add onto this thing, the more work I'm doing for myself. Yay me! That's a bit too busy. You can always uh, take stuff off if it is. Yeah. 
Yeah, got the foul bridge, yeah. It wouldn't be that wide though. I was thinking with the, the foe bridge. Uh, it would be quite slimline, quite aerodynamic. Maybe it'd be quite long though. It sort of reach back here, but start up here. That's what I had in my mind, but... <sighs> I don't know, I'll well, see what see what we turn up with, basically, because I still got the... Uh, I still want to put the sort of uh, fake guns on the top here as well. There's still quite a lot I want to do to this this build. Hey sis, how you doing? Oh, welcome along. Oh, it's good to see you. How the devil are you? Genesis Spanish. <laughs> Genesis Spanish. As long as it's not odor toilet span, we're we're okay. Just having a bit of fun. Oh, how did the server go, sis? Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't able to. Um join you for the, the PvP section, the, the lag test section. How did that go? For those of you that don't know, Sis, Sis here is uh, she's running her own multiplayer server. Um, and I'm trying out, it's quite, quite a different sort of PvP style. So, um, loose, loosely based on how the wall server was run, I think. But, different in its own way but you get PVEers doing what PVEers do and the PVPers have to get resources from the PVEers basically I think they can mine themselves though but they have to go away from their home world uh, I think it was fine but we might make the stress test again where people can go crazy what people weren't able to go crazy this time Was it altering again? Was he laying down the law, was he? You should see, you should have a look at the server, guys, because um <laughs> one of the one of the admins altering on the server took took my my reader's wrath. Took my ship. Blew the living crap out of it, and then crashed it into a planet and turned it into a POI. <laughs> the swine. <laughs> The swine. Alterin was sleeping. Sleeping during a stress test. Just sack him, sis. Sack him. Alright, what do we think about that, guys? Is that too busy? It's a lot of fluff. Sort of just random shapes and stuff like that. Piping and whatnot. And obviously. Imagine it, trying to imagine it with, with texturing. It'd be a lot of kind of, um, these two will be used a lot. <laughs> and probably these two down here will be used a lot as well. Hey, Loose, didn't even know you were here. Welcome along, unless you've been here all the time, in which case, 
What took you so long? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Hoot. He does look good. It should be over here as well. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll texture the crap out of that, but that should give nice sort of texture to the trench there. Cool. Quite happy with that. I do want to sort of taper off this edge as well. I'm trying to see if I can meld that into these fins at the back here at some point. But yeah, there we go. So, what have we got left to do on this thing? Let's set that up. But you forgot it was Sunday. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, Sis says, uh, I think we want people really to go crazy to see everything, but the test was good. Not too many bugs and things there need to be fixed at all. Well, that's really good. I'm glad it went well. I'm glad it went well. And it sounds like the server is ready to go for realsy. So, um, you know, um, the server's called Craft World. There is a password, however. So, um, Sis, is it? You need to join the Steam community first. Or is there a link? If there's a link, feel free to pop it in the chat there so people can grab that if they're interested. So yeah, um, I think next stream... I really don't like that back end. I'm just going to tear tear it all down and redo that because it's just awful. Brilliant. <coughs> Excuse me. So this, pop a, pop a link in the chat for the um, the Steam group there. So people are going to have that if they're interested in joining. Multiplayer server. There's a really good bunch of guys on there. So this is great. Check it out. Like I said, it's a bit of a unique setup between PvE and PvP interaction. But yeah. Uh, oh, have I disabled links or something? Delete the link. Uh, I don't know how to enable that. How do I enable links in the chat? You can't link. Is that a Twitch thing, is it? Damn it. Make her a mod. Good job you're here. Uh, I've even forgotten how to do that now. Hold on. Bear with. to go into actual Twitch because I can't do it through Streamlabs, I don't think. Dad can post it. Right, there you go, sis. Can you do it now, sis, or just... on screen <laughs> seems to happen every time every week there's something kind of how do i do this in twitch there's always something new there we go All right uh let me switch the uh display cap there you go graph world community graph world dk on steam you should be able to find it just searching uh craft world community in steam groups it should come up and there you go, it's posted. There we go. Thank you very much. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. Marvelous. Good. 
So yes, next stream. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Right, there's quite a lot still to do that I want to do to this ship. I want to create the faux bridge. Uh, in my mind, this would be a fairly aerodynamic kind of thing, starting from around about here and finishing about there. With a little bit of height, maybe sort of two, three blocks, maybe four blocks of height to it. Not very high at all. On these nacelles here, I want to put some faux cannons as well. Some big ass turret looking mega cannon type things on the top here just to make it look intimidating and awesome. Top and bottom. That will look pretty cool. Um, and I completely redo this back end so it actually looks in keeping with the style of the ship because that just doesn't so I'll rip that out and put something else in there I haven't quite figured that out yet but that oh and taper off this uh, this edge taper it off so it sort of blends with these fins at the back here a little bit better and then we can start texturing and stuff like that but, um, yeah you're welcome sis no worries mate what I want to do before we actually commit to all the texturing and stuff because that is going to take a while um, is we'll battle test it. So, if my, um, if my wonderful assistant, Static, is willing, or Loose, if he's about, I know Loose was keen to test it out actually, we'll, uh, we'll pop this into um, a dead E server that we've got and we'll see how she handles against some veteran PvP ships. Stuff like that. So that's all still to come, um, but that is, that is a stream for today, guys. It's nine o'clock. It's time for me to start getting ready for the work week. So I'm going to call it there. But um, thank you everyone for coming and watching and joining and joining in with the chat and having some chill and build times with me. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you even found it slightly useful as well. I did some stuff on signal logic today. But this thing's really coming along. Static can do whatever I want. That's that's the spirit. That's the spirit, Static. bastard right there we go still need some name suggestions from you guys though so have a have a think as well not my server sysnix's server so um but yeah I'll, I'll probably turn up there every now and again uh just to say hi and stuff uh but yeah guys think about some names that we can maybe give this thing for the next couple of streams as well that's your homework Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for being here and joining me. And hopefully I'll see you next Sunday. Same time, 7 o'clock, UK time, Sunday evening. We'll carry on with this bad boy. All right, until then, take care. I'll see you then. Bye, everyone. It's old tab out. There we go. <laughs> see ya.